Hi. Hello, hello. I'm back. I'm just looking for myself. Stupid Facebook. Uh, I'm going to paint the... I'm going to finish painting the lampshade that I was just working on on Iron Orchid Designs page. I ran out of time there, and uh, here on my page I can tell you what products I'm using. That is an Iron Orchid Designs. I'm using DIY paint. Let me just um, find myself here. It's like there's no way to... Oh, Facebook. Oh, Facebook. Overview. Yeah, suggested ads. They want me to spend money. I just need to find myself and it's not showing up as posts. There I go. Okay, I got you. Say hello when you come on. And I am going to continue with my painting. Okay, so um, what I've got here is... Um, crinoline DIY paint and crinoline all that talking made me thirsty I'm using artist brushes and I poured a little bit of big top in this to thin it out and so that when I go back to paint it uh, to seal it that I don't accidentally uh, smudge colors if I'm doing different colors so I'm just going to continue with this. I don't know um, if you guys were just over watching the first part of my live. Do you think I should be adding other colors to this? Or do you think that the tarnished or the crin I'm using, I'm using what says tarnished pearl, but it was a mint tint, a mist tint. So it's actually crinoline. So, but I have to decide if I'm going to add more colors. Also, if I should, I think I'm going to paint the white rim. So I'm just loosely putting it on there. Hi, Maria and Donna and Donna, two Donnas. This will dry super fast too. Were you guys just watching the other part of the live on IOD? I had my face in my project for most of the time. leaving the white to show. I definitely think I am going to go over with a brush. Yeah. Yeah. So the, the, back, the background color that I painted on this is white swan. I, I frequently just grab white swan and do a whole bunch of prepping at once on things like boards and so that's just what I grabbed as a backdrop because then whatever I decide to paint over it comes out nice and clear. You know, it comes out true color. This is the part that's so relaxing to me. I'm not gonna paint inside the flowers. I'm gonna leave those white. Have you guys done a, uh, what you up to today, Maria? It's hot out, isn't it? I got my air going. Have you guys done a lampshade before? This is one of the things that is an easy, small project. I struggle with smalls. I don't really like uh, small crafty things like to make them. I enjoy making them, but I feel like they're like they look like small crafts so I'll do them but I won't bring them to sell in my shop um, but something like this where lampshades are pretty easy to find I think this is going to be sellable if I can find a base for it uh, it feels a little less like you know while I'm hanging out and doing crafts at home I guess I guess there's just so many talented artists that I try really hard to not bring crap. <laughs> I don't know 
any other way to really say it, but I think that these products make it a lot easier for me to uh, make something look like, like I know what I'm doing. All right, so I can see that it's lifting a little bit off of, maybe I didn't press it down. So if you have any of this cording, it may or may not stick. I'm not sure what it's doing. And I'm, I'm gonna do that. It's so hot, I know, it's so hot. It goes from, my God, I think we had our heat on last week. It goes, in New Hampshire, it totally goes from like 65 to 90 overnight. There's just like no in between. There's no in between. Just some craziness. So I'm trying to decide if I want to bring some of these other colors in. I know I've got brush strokes on here and I'm totally fine with that. I feel like it's part of the process and I'm not going to sand them. I'm going to leave them. So you can see where, can you see that on the camera? You can see my brush strokes. I like that. Even the bottom layer has all the brush strokes. And just a little, I don't know, it might be good. I keep changing my mind and what I want to do for the It's making me feel like I want to take a nap. I love naps. Who else likes naps? My mom says that uh, when I was a kid, she never ever had to like tell me twice to take a nap. I would like ask to take naps. I still feel that way. I sleep better during the day. Maybe because I'm so tired from not sleeping well at night. I don't know. But I love naps. Afternoon naps are great. <laughs> I'm advocating for naps. My problem is, is I can't take a 20 minute nap and get, get up rested. I'm more tired. So it has to be like a substantial nap, you know. Maybe I should have a pointier brush because Keep. If you get paint on your transfer, and I've done this before, you can go back and wipe it off. Uh, actually, because I've got my sealer mixed in with this paint, which I don't do too often, I won't be able to. But in a normal situation, you can, if you don't have your sealer, you can go back and just take that right off. Okay, I gotta mix up a little more paint. So all I did. Bit of that, a little bit of that. That was probably too much, but that's all right. The color will be the same because the pigmentation is really good. And I like it nice and wet and wiggly like this. So that, there we go. I guess it was kind of dry before. See the difference? You don't want it to drip, but you do want it to look or I want it to look wet and fluid. You guys are so quiet. Am I putting you to sleep? so relaxing watching me i it is relaxing it is it's relaxing doing it too it was like my dream afternoon and then to have somebody else pick up after me that's how i would finish it i would make a big mess in here 
I would have my music on nice and loud and I would just be zoning out and losing track of time, but it's okay because I have nowhere to be. And then not even thinking, but just letting the brush, just letting my brush do its thing. I guess that could be a good thing or not a so good thing. Usually it works out. And if it doesn't, it's only paint and we sand down and we start over again. So if you're just coming on here and you missed the beginning of this, I just did, um, this lampshade was naked an hour ago and I showed how to put the transfer on it, lay the design out and put the transfer on. So I posted the replay here on my page and I just wasn't done. So I decided to continue. Okay, let's see. Let's... I'll get a smaller brush and get into some spots if I feel like I need to. Now we're going to step back and look at it and decide if it needs a little touch of color after I get all of the cording painted. Hi, Trilby. Finishing up a lampshade I just started on my IOD Live. And trying to decide if it's gonna get more color after I'm done painting the cording. These, this is actually a fast project because the lampshade will dry really quickly. And I'm almost done with the bottom here. The only thing that I have to go back and do is like the inside lip here so that when it's actually hanging, it all is the same color on the inside. You guys are going to be voters on if it needs more color. I'll show you the inspiration. All right, I think that's mostly it. All right, here's the inspiration if you missed it and the other colors that I wanted to bring in. This is um, the board that I did with the rest of the transfer on it. So I'm thinking of maybe bringing in I don't know, not all the colors, but maybe some of the uh, gray or a little bit of the, uh, try to pick up a little bit of the peachy color. What do you think? Maybe a little bit of green in the some of the leaves. Or should I just leave it? It already kind of matches it. What do you think? Should I just leave it? Hi, Deborah. Maybe I should leave it and then go back to it uh, instead of trying to finish it all at once. You guys don't have any opinions, huh? I know you're all napping now, right? Mm. Well, it certainly looks better not white. I will, I can definitely agree to that. So where did I just see I wanted to touch up? So if nobody has any opinions, I guess I will just decide myself in a couple of days. I don't know. All right, well, I'm not being very engaging, right? Because I'm just looking at my, I'm just looking at my lampshade. 
everything? What are you saying about everything? <laughs> All right. So if anybody local knows where I can find a, a, a lamp stand that this could go on, you can see it's quite large. I think it might need like a floor, a floor one. You weren't saying I should use like every color on it, did, were you, Rhonda? <laughs> You like it? I like it as it is too. Maybe less is more here. Um, I mean, it does have color, so maybe I don't need to add a little more. I'm gonna leave it as is, and then I'm gonna come back and add some details if I feel like it needs it. Like I keep seeing, when I'm showing it to you guys, I keep seeing some leaves that, are, that look really weird. Here we go. Um, and then I can also, before I seal it, I can see what it looks like when it's lit. You know how it look how it looks like in the light and maybe I will put a little bit of green around the bottom if it needs anchoring do you think it needs anchoring oh, it looks so much better than it was this was sitting in my garage for so long and the um, the sh fabric of the shade underneath it is just awful all right, so I will take your opinions. If you're watching the replay on this or if you're here now, what color should be added to this, if any? Should I pull in some of the green, some of the peach, or should I just leave it simple like this and seal it? All right, you guys, oh, I am going to go. Um, it's a little late for a nap because I'm at my workshop, so I won't be taking a nap. So enjoy yourself if you are. Thanks, Deborah. A little green. It may be a little something. Thank you. All right, guys. Um, if you missed the two lives I already did today, they're here on replay. Uh, go ahead, fast forward. Actually, those are very on point and tight. I did them on um, the other two channels, and they're very instructional, not a whole lot of chit-chat. So... Um, I'm using DIY products, just uh, which I didn't say on the other videos, but that's usually what I use, just so you know if you're wondering. Um, and I sell and ship all of the IOD and the DIY. So if you guys have done a lampshade, would you drop it here in my comments so I can see your lampshade or anything actually that you've done with Japonica. I really want to see Japonica. It took me a long time to, to use it because it's not my style, but I am having a lot of fun because I love the florals in it. Um, thank you, Jerry. All right, I am going to go now. I am tuckered out and thirsty from two hours of chit-chatting today. So um, have a great day, and uh, I will see you guys uh, soon. Have a good day, guys. Have a good day, guys. Bye. <laughs> Nap time.